Hello, I am Erin Bradley. I teach at Brian Evan Primary School. This is a school in Bryanston, a suburb of Johannesburg, South Africa. Brian Evan Primary School has introduced Purple Mash as an initiative to promote coding for young children. So these videos also provide a resource to build upon, if not on a more expansive basis for other schools. Today's lesson explores Princess and the Frog with Riley Dove. I'm just going to show you the timer command. So you've got, you could try using the timer command to make changes happen after a time period. So in other words, you could have a time period, could be one second, two seconds, one minute, anything like that. And you'd use this control to do that, to show time, time periods. Or try moving the characters in different directions. So you click on them, the princess moves right. When the frog collides with the princess, when you click on the frog, the frog is not going to move. So you said here, when the frog collides with the princess, you have to click on the frog so the frog will hit into the princess. The frog is the moving object. The frog is moving towards the princess. But if you look at your code, you said when the frog collides with the princess, but you have got nothing that's making the frog move. So you have to bring in some sort of code that makes the frog hit the princess. So I'd like you to bring in a when click on the frog. Now the frog will move in this direction. Then you could have the frog moves in a left direction. So moving that way. So we go back in a left direction. Okay, then you know that the code that the frog will collide with the princess. So the frog, frog will collide with the princess. And then let's bring in a little bit of a timer. So we're going to make after two seconds, after two seconds, then the frog will move up. Hopefully we'll play that code. We can even go there, frog, and when they collide, the frog goes up. But then you brought in a bit of code. If you look over here, when the frog collides with the princess, frog stops. You'll have to play a little bit around, but let's just go over what we did. The frog is colliding with the princess, and then it stops. But remember the timer, bring that into it as well. And this little bit of code, after two seconds, the frog moves left. That could go out, and our code would work better. So if I go like that, and I play our code, it goes, princess, frog. Now watch, when they, when they collide, it's supposed to go up. After two seconds, when I click on the frog, the frog goes up. But now the frog is actually the prince image, but it's still the frog. It has the identity of the frog, but it's moving up. So when I click on the frog, it moved up. If I stop this code, I could say when I click on the frog, after two seconds, the frog could change into something. I could say frog image and then do exactly what you did with the frog image. But I think you understand your code quite well, Riley. Fiddle around with it and just put it all together. See if you can use a timer and also try get the collision. Remember the one that's hitting, colliding against the other is the frog is the moving object. So the moving object would be the frog moves and collides with the princess because the frog's the moving thing. All right, I'm going to leave this over here, but feel welcome to just have a good look at it. Okay, I'm just going to take my bit of code out because I don't really don't want to, I want you to do it all by yourself because, you know, you are a brilliant young lady. And if I do all the work for you, it's, it's not going to be, it's not really going to help you that much. It's going to be far more better, not a, not a matter of passing, but just to develop your creative coding abilities. Just play around and do it yourself. Please do feel welcome to come and ask me if you want more help. I'll help you again. I think that you're marvelous and I think you can do brilliantly if you just play around yourself. I think you do understand what we've done now. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming and we'll post this on YouTube.